a love story. And here is our leading lady. The blaze of Broadway is fueled by dreams. Will you love me in December as you do in May? Will you love me in the good old-fashioned way? I've always thought that Jimmy Walker didn't write that song for a girl, that he wrote it for a city. Midnight, and all the stars are shining in the place where dreams come true. A city that still turns on her brightest smile with the throw of a switch. But look out for the morning after, when Cinderella goes home and somebody's liable to swipe her pumpkin. Every night in New York is Mardi Gras. More than 70 theaters cater to every taste. Just off Times Square is the Follies. An opening is a big event with prices to match. Tonight, let's dance. Let's go to a picture show, to the theater. Let's escape. Thousands of New Yorkers jammed Times Square, waiting for the results of one of the most significant municipal elections in history. LaGuardia versus the powerful Tammany machine. New York is the world center. Broadway is its soul. And the hope of a million hearts has found home on these few blocks. And in New York's Times Square, there were thousands more, including David Blitzer, a high school senior then. As you got closer to Times Square, it was like a waterfall. But I still love New York because it's full of unusual sights. All the animals come out at night. Whores, skunk pussies, buggers, queens, fairies, dopers, junkies. Sick, venal. Times Square, the crossroads of the world and the place where Broadway opens up to become the Great White Way, has performed three overlapping functions in the life of New York for more than 80 years. It is where people come together, where people go out on the town, where they head just to take a look around. It is the heart of the city, a centrally located open space that is a transportation hub, is big enough to hold crowds of several hundred thousand people, and has enough light, more than 200 miles of neon tubing, to illuminate gatherings day and night. All three of these principal uses of Times Square have so far managed to survive many years of decay and neglect, forces that have hit Times Square as hard as they have hit any downtown district in the country. One reason these uses have shown such resilience is that the experience of the area, a dynamic one, has remained essentially intact. Although Times Square isn't as big or as formal or as carefully planned an open space as, say, the Grand Army Plaza in Brooklyn, it has an unusual feeling of welcoming spaciousness that isn't to be found at the Brooklyn Plaza or at any other New York intersection. It gives you a sense of being protected because it conveys the impression that there's room enough here for all. And it's because of this feeling of roominess that tens of thousands of people can jam into the two smallish triangles of Times Square and yet not feel crowded. From Reflections, Experiencing Places, by Tony Hitz, in The New Yorker, June 29th, 1987.